in this session, I'm going to discuss about Mediterranean type of climate. So first of all, let's take a look at where this type of climate is distributed. So look at the regions, and these regions, say California, Mediterranean Basin, Western and Southern Australia, Western Cape of South Africa, and Central Chile. See these regions, they are lying over the western margin of the continent. Look at entire regions, they are lying over the western margin of the continent. And another feature of their location is that they are between the latitudes 30 to 45 degree latitudes on both of the hemispheres. Fine, so remember these, thi these two things on the western margin of the continent and their latitudes between 30 and 45 degree latitudes. And regarding the, these regions, this particular type of climate, Mediterranean type of climate is well established over the central Chile and it's not over the Mediterranean basin. So remember that also. And the peculiar feature of this climate is we'll be having rainfall during winter time. See almost all the other type of climate, the rainfall peak will be during the summer season. But here in this type of climate, the peculiar feature is that the rainfall will be during winter time. So if you see wet winter or winter rainfall, it's related with the Mediterranean type of climate. And why we are having winter rainfall, it's due to the shifting wind belt. Now regarding the shifting wind belt, I'll just briefly explain the shifting wind belt. Consider the normal pressure belt and the wind pattern. Normally like uh, in the latitudes from 10 to 10 degree north to 10 degree south, we'll be having equatorial low pressure belt and on the latitudes 25 to 35 degree, we'll be having subtropical high pressure belt and from 60 to 65 and in that range we'll be having subpolar low pressure belt, right? And a wind or air, they will always move from high pressure towards the low pressure, fine? So here, if you are having pressure belt like this, we'll be having the wind moving from the subtropical high towards the equatorial low, which is called as trade wind. And we'll be having another set of prevailing wind moving from the subtropical high pressure belt towards the subpolar low pressure belt, which is called as westerlies. Which, and see these trade winds or see these prevailing winds, they also change their position according to the apparent position of the sun. We already studied the the latitudes of this pressure belt, right? Equatorial low or the subtropical high. You should understand that these latitude or latitude and positions, they are not constant. They always change according to the different seasons or, or specifically according to the apparent position of the sun. Fine. And with this movement of pressure belt, the wind belt also will change or will shift. Again, the why the wind, wind belt is shifting because of the apparent position of the sun or simply you can say that due to different seasons. Fine. During summer season or you can say like during summer solstice, on June 21st, the sun will be positioned over the Tropic of Cam Cancer which is 23.5 degree north latitude and during this time, the entire pressure belt in the northern hemisphere, they will move towards north. Fine. So now just consider the, the westerlies. Since we are having high pressure here, due to the apparent position of sun, the pressure belt migrated towards the northern latitude and we are having high pressure here. There is no exact latitude. Okay, just consider the pressure belt migrated towards the northern hemisphere. So again, the wind, consider the westerlies. Westerlies will move from the subtropical high towards the polar low, right? So these Mediterranean regions or this particular type of climatic regions, they are not under the influence of westerlies during the June 21st or during the summer time. Okay, so during the summer time, they are not under the influence of westerlies. Now, next prevailing wind, consider the trade wind. Trade wind, they will move from the subtropical high towards the low pressure, right? Since we are having the sun positioned over the Tropic of Cancer, the low pressure will be somewhere here. This low pressure can be understood as ITCZ, Intertropical Convergence Zone. 
anyways the trade wind will move from the subtropical high towards the equatorial low now if we consider the trade wind in these regions or in the case of like chile these trade wind they are like offshore in nature again we discussed about the onshore and offshore winds in a, one of the previous videos onshore wind will increase the rain and the offshore wind will decrease the rain and the onshore wind will moving towards the continents and offshore will be moving away from the continent right so if we consider this shifting wind belt the trade wind it will be offshore during the june time or during the summer time offshore means rainfall will be reduced so during the summer time they are since they are under the offshore trade wind the rainfall is reduced fine so during summer time they will be having dry and warm conditions now next consider the winter solstice position during the winter solstice position or which is on december 22nd and the sun will be directly overhead on tropic of capricorn which is 23.5 degree south latitude right so during this position sun is away from the northern hemisphere so here what happens is that the high pressure belt in the northern hemisphere will move towards the south and again the same manner like in the subtropical high pressure belt in the northern hemisphere also will move towards the south so due, due to this reason so suppose here if the subtropical high pressure belt is coming down i'll draw it once again if the subtropical high pressure belt is coming down due to the presence of or due to the apparent movement of the sun now here consider the primary winds or consider the prevailing wind westerlies and trade winds the westerlies will move from subtropical high towards the subpolar 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 low pressure belt right and the trade wind they will move from the subtropical high towards the equatorial low now if you if you consider both of these winds you will understand that these mediterranean climatic regions they will come under the influence of westerlies during winter time during winter time the subtropical high pressure belt migrates towards south and these regions they came under the influence of the westerlies now if you consider westerlies if you consider westerlies the thing is that they are onshore in nature during this time okay onshore means this wind will ready will increase the rainfall right so these westerlies they will carry the rainfall or moisture from the oceans towards the continents increasing the rainfall so this is why we are having uh, winter rainfall along the mediterranean climatic regions so once again briefing through the shifting wind belt due to the apparent position of the uh, sun the ship wind wind belt they are shifting right the normal position of the pressure belt and wind they are not exact they migrate or they shift due to the movement of apparent movement of the sun right so during uh, the summer solstice position the wind belt or the subtropical high pressure belt will move towards this north and uh, the mediterranean climatic regions they will come under the influence of offshore trade wind which reduces the rainfall so during summer time they are not having rainfall they are having dry and warm condition and during winter time the subtropical high pressure belt comes down so that the regions they comes under the onshore westerlies so during winter time these regions they are under the influence of onshore westerlies wind right and they will increase the rainfall and this is the reason why the mediterranean climatic type is having rainfall during winter time so this is one of the very important features which you should remember regarding the uh, mediterranean climatic type winter rainfall so wherever you see winter rainfall or wet winter it's related with the mediterranean climatic type so okay just these regions they are seen over the western portion of the continent masses between 30 to 45 degree latitude and they are having uh, winter rainfall and during summer time they are having dry and warm conditions and why we are having winter rainfall due to the shifting wind belt now the different seasons if you consider one season is dry warm summer with offshore trade wind and during the winter time we'll be having winter rainfall so due due to the onshore westerly winds right now another thing is this region 
the cultivation or the region surrounding the Mediterranean region, they are used for the viticulture. In the sense, they will be growing grapes, and uh, they are famous for the wine production also. So remember that fact. Like you, it'll come handy somewhere. And the next about the vegetation seen over this region. If you consider this climatic type, during the summer time we are having very dry and warm condition, right? And due to the during the winter time we are having rainfall. So if, if vegetation uh, forming over these regions, they should be able to, you know, like uh, they should be able to withstand this dry conditions happening in summer, and they should be able to, you know, withstand the rainfall falling over the winter season. So the vegetation here, they will be like evergreen oak trees or pine trees and sometimes will be having deciduous trees. Deciduous means they will be shedding of their leaf. Okay. So primarily, here the vegetative type, it should be like drought resilient and we will be having evergreen pine and oak trees or we will be having deciduous trees. Fine. So this is all about vegetation. The, the cultivation seen over the region as well as the important features of the Mediterranean climate. This is the previous year question from this particular topic. Now see the year, it's 2010. It's not in the very recent year question, rather it's still important for you, it's 2010. The geographic region has the following distinct characteristics, warm and dry climate, mild and wet winter, and evergreen oak trees. Wherever you see the term wet winter or winter rainfall, it's related with the Mediterranean climate. So here the answer will come out as Mediterranean region. And this is an ABCD question. There is no uh, different statements and all. So here what they have done is they have given different characteristics and they have asked you to find out which of the region, climatic regions, use these characteristics, right? Let's solve some moral questions from this topic. In which one of the following countries the Mediterranean type of biome is found? Chile, Kenya, Argentina, and Bolivia. Again, the answer will come out as Chile. In fact, like Chile is the region where this type of climatic type, as well as the biome, is predominantly seen over the central Chile regions. Which of the following is the main characteristic of Mediterranean climate? Go through the options. Again, an ABCD question. High temperature throughout the year. High temperature throughout the year means that region should lie over that region should lie over somewhere near the equator. So this first property suggests the equatorial climatic type. Okay, high temperature throughout the year means we are having uniform temperature throughout the year. That's the property of equatorial type of climate. Now second, rainfall throughout the year. Again, rainfall throughout the year, if again the property of equatorial climate type, if you are having uniform temperature throughout the year, we'll be having uh, rainfall throughout the year and rain in the winter season as you might know like this is the correct answer rain in the winter season is the characteristic property of Mediterranean climate the D option convectional rain here think about the rainfall is it convectional in nature basically no the the rainfall is not exactly related with the convection right and again the entire three properties, high temperature throughout the year, rainfall throughout the year, and convection rain, they are the properties or feature of the equatorial type of climate. The characteristic feature of Mediterranean type of climate is the winter rainfall. Next question is a pair type of question. And uh, see, before listening to the explanation, please pause the video and see if you can solve this question all by yourself. Fine. So consider the following pairs, climatic type and feature. Now, before reading the three statements, read the last line and understand what is being asked here, right? So, we have been given three pairs and the question is, which of the above pairs is or are not correctly matched? Okay. So, if, if we see a pair which is correctly matched and it shouldn't be there in the options, right? So, going through the pairs. First pair, Mediterranean climate and it's paired with winter rainfall. We know that it's the characteristic feature of Mediterranean climate, right? So one shouldn't be in the options, fine. Eliminating the uh, given choices, having one, will get into the answer and answer is two and three only, fine. Now go through the second pair, equatorial climate. 
which is paired with concentrated precipitation. See, in equatorial climatic regions, we'll be having temperature throughout the year and we'll be having rainfall throughout the year. And the rainfall will peak only during the equinox position or the months right after the equinox position, which is April as well as like October. Fine. So the equatorial type of climate, they will not be having concentrated rainfall, rather than they, ha they are having well distributed rainfall throughout the year, right? <coughs> Next, the monsoonal type climate. It is paired with double rainfall peak. In fact, like the double rainfall peak, it's the feature of equatorial climate, right? Double rainfall means, or rainfall peak means during April or during the months of April as well as during the months of like uh, the October, we'll be having rainfall peak taking place in equatorial climate. And the concentrated rainfall, it's a feature of monsoonal climate. Since the monsoon already made onset, and all these months we were not having any rainfall, we were having very dry conditions, right? And the monsoonal rainfall generally will be you know, concentrated for three to four months. So we can say that the concentrated rainfall, it's a property of monsoonal type of climate. So here in this question, the answer will come out as two and three and understand that the double rainfall peak is a property of equatorial climate and concentrated precipitation is a property of monsoonal climate and winter rainfall, again, obviously the property of Mediterranean type of climate.